Hello, this is HR Laser. Today, I will show you how to set up HR 1060N or HR 1060X laser machine. First, I would like to introduce the machine. In front of the machine, you will see the control panel, we call it RD 6445. Under the panel, there are few buttons. The first one, the red button, is called emergency button. Whenever there's an emergency, press the button down to stop the laser output. It's for the safety purpose. After the CTO agent stopped, twist the button and active the laser output. The key button next to is the laser switch. This control the laser output. You need to turn it on to the right for start the laser firing. The next you will see the ampere meter. Once you have laser output, you will see the indicator vibrating. It's very useful. You can see the ampere output and to check if the laser output is normal or incorrect. The black knob on the left is the adjustment knob. This black knob is the ampere adjustment knob. The purpose is to fine-tune the milliampere based on the laser output setting. When you turn the knob to the left, this curve is the minimal output and you turn the knob on to the right is the maximum output. For example, if your laser output setting is 60%, when you turn the knob to the ma maximum, the laser output is 60%. If you turn it back, to somewhere near the minimum, the laser output will be less than 60%. Maybe now it should, it should be 20% of power. Let's say the knob is to fine-tune fine -tune the laser output percentage based on the setting in the control panel or ArtiWorks software. On the machine right side, you will see few buttons from top to bottom. The top one is the lighting switch, control the light. The purpose is to control the lighting inside the machine cabinet. The button next to is the U disk. Disk connector is for the U disk connection. Instead, the laptop. When you have the file ready to output, you can copy it to the U disk and insert to 
the socket. This function is very useful as you don't need a laptop around it. The USB socket is for the USB cable connection to your laptop and uh, the next one is the uh, ethernet connection socket for the RJ45 cable connection to your laptop the last one the red button is for the back out light control switch when you switch on the motion back out light is connected when you have some uh, accessories like uh, a pump exhaust fine connect to the machine back out light then you are able to turn it on by this switch or off then you don't need to go to the machine back to turn it off or on then we go to the machine back you need to take away the sponge or foam that feel around the laser tube <clears throat> there are a lot of sponge of foams inside that's to protect the laser tube from damage during the transportation and now I will take them away for you In front of the laser tube, there are some plastic bag. We call it anti dust bag to protect the lens from the dust. Then you need to remove them. We call this part is the mirror A mount and the gold part is the adjustment knob of the mirror. Please take care of it and don't touch the adjustment knob when remove the back because if the knob was moved the laser pass potentially impact okay we have done this after that, you need to close the laser tube housing and lock it.
Then I will open the machine lid and look at the inside. We have something to do. Inside the machine, you can see the middle B mount and the middle C mount. And this is the laser nozzle. The red one is the autofocus. And the one next to is the red door. This part is the X axis gantry. And this is the X axis belt. It was held by the zip tie. And uh, the Y axis was also held by the zip tie on both sides. You need to cut the three zip tie to release the belt, and then the laser head can move around. Please take care when you cut the zip tie. Do now hurt the but it has the same requirement when you remove the the back to take care of and do not touch the adjustment knob the next thing we we'll connect the water pipe to chiller also the air assist Please look at this chart. The left side is the HL laser cutter, on the right side is the water trailer. When you connect the water pipe to the trailer from HL laser cutter, the water in need to connect the water out of the water trailer. And the water out from the laser cutter to the water in. Into water means the water in of the laser cutter to the out light, also the water out to the water chiller. The out water also means water out to the inlet of the water chiller. This black pipe is the air pipe because its size is 6 by 4 millimeter so you need an adapter with size 8 by 6 to connect to the air pump Okay, then 
the water treater and the air pump was connected well. The next thing, I will connect the exhaust fan. This is exhaust fan with power 250 watt power. Then you need to take out the for your flexible duct from the machine. This to connect to the film extractor or to the window and exhaust the polluted air to the outside the house. This is the motion back outlet which was controlled by the socket on the machine right side <clears throat> let's look at this chart air pump and the exhaust fine can be connected to the back outer light for the water chiller please don't connect to the back of the light we have different per power plug type to connect the outer light from your home if you live in Europe Then you will receive the product type C or E. If you live in the Australia, you will receive the product type I. If you live in the United States or Canada, then you will need a Transformer. The transformer is like this. The plug type is B. You can connect the, the plug to your home out light. And then use the plug I to connect the machine this is plug I the reason you need a transformer for USA or Canada because the voltage required for the machine is 220 
to 240. And in United States, the voltage is 110 or 120. The power plug one side to the machine and the other side to the outer light from your home. Then hook up the main switch. Since now the machine has uh, electricity into the power the power supply. Then I will need to connect the power supply of water chiller. Let's look at the the label. This is the 220 watt, 220 voltage water chiller. So I will need to connect to the 220 volt outlet from the from the home. And if the label shows the power input is 110 volt, then you will need to connect to the uh, 110 volt outlet from your home. Please don't connect the water chiller to the outlet from the machine. Also, you don't need to connect to a transformer if the voltage is 110 in your in your country because the the trailer you receive is 110 if the the voltage in your country is 110 Before we power on the water trailer, there's one thing we need to check. This is water level indicator. The green portion is normal. Then you need to make sure the, the coolant or distilled water inside the level is in the normal portion. Now I turn the water chiller on. The panel is blinking and uh, the LED, the green LED turn green. Okay, that means the um, the trailer was turned on normal and you will hear the sound from compressor that means the water, water trailer start working and cool the coolant inside please allow water trailer works for three to five minutes and use the laser for heavy duty cutting because the laser tube is made by glass we are need to eliminate the air bubble inside the, the tube otherwise the temperature the temperature may be significant different when you are heavy cutting at the portion with the air bubble and without it's very dangerous and damage the or break down the laser tube with leakage 
and the coolant will leak from the, the tube. Please make sure there's no air bubble inside the little tube. Then cut the use the laser for the heavy cutting. Then I will twist the heat stop to re release it to turn the laser machine on. The laser head will go to the top right for homing. Once arrived the homing position, then it will go to the work origin. This two right sensor we call it a homing switch. In the homing process, when the laser head go to the the home position, the sensor will reflect and have the right light. It's the same story on the Y homing sensor. <clears throat> if the laser head clicking X axis or the Y axis, they didn't stop. That's because the homing process has issue. Either homing sensor was not uh, triggered correctly. For the machine out of focus, I have a tip. When you put the material on the machine table and run the out of focus, please make sure the material was covered the out of focus uh, or in the middle of the material. If the material was cool like this, the edge, the material edge, the, the out focus was outside the material like this. When the out focus running, the probe of out focus will get stuck inside the honeycomb cell. This will damage the autofocus and the laser head. So this way is incorrect. We need to pull the material and and its size and the autofocus was inside the material. frame. This way is correct. Then yeah, I will show you how to use this and have the machine cut. Then I will use the control panel to input the Cutting fire. Okay. The step next step is to run the autofocus. Press focus and confirm. The machine table is going up. When the auto focus was active, the machine table was, is going down to the focal point.
Then I will set the work origin to show for the material position. In this case, I move the little head to the right side and press the origin to set. Then I will turn to the layer switch. I will insert the key and turn it on to the right. And the next thing I will check milliampere adjustment knob. I will turn to the maximum this time. Sometimes you don't have the laser firing output it is because the adjustment knob you didn't turn it to the maximum but to the minimum that you you don't have the laser output then I will closely there's another switch here we call it open this switch please make sure this switch was active when the machine did closed you hear the sound when the machine did closed if this switch was not active you are now have the laser output Okay, you can hear the sound from the switch. It was active. The last thing I need to do is press start to trigger the file. Okay, the laser is firing. I'm working on the job. After the job done, open the machine lid and look at the inside. This is the demo cut. That's all for the demo. Thank you for watching.